The issue of hyperbarics is an important one because it's, it's definitely an important treatment. I mean, if you look at it simply and what it's doing is it's improving oxygen flow in the body, improving, improving oxygen concentration in the brain, which is going to have a healing effect. Should they start at 1.3? Should they go to 1.5? Should they go to 1.75? Should they do soft chamber? Should they do hard chamber? If you can get a pressure of 1.5 using a soft chamber, pressure is pressure. It doesn't matter if it's hard or soft. It's the pressure effect that's important. Traditionally, the way hyperbaric oxygen therapy is implemented is people have to go to a clinic. So they have to go to a clinic that actually houses these chambers. And they might have what's called the soft chambers, which are the mild hyperbaric pressures that go to about 1.3 atmospheres. Or they might have the, the, the full chambers, the hard shell chambers, which can go to 1.3 and above um, and supply different concentrations of oxygen. Now, logistically, that may be easy for some people. And one way to actually be able to do more is to do some sort of an in-home rental chamber program. And one of the doctors that has implemented this type of therapy or this type of program very successfully has been Dr. Newbrander. The, the basic premise of actually doing an in-home program where you're actually doing lower pressure um, therapy, about 1.3 atmospheres, with lower oxygen concentration, but over a longer period of time. So on average, what kids are doing is they're doing approximately one to one and a half hours twice a day for at least 30 days. And with the goal that you're trying to get anywhere between 75 to 90 hours in a month. And what that does and what that has been shown um, uh, as far as what he's seen in his, in his clinic, what other doctors have seen is an improvement in capture rates as far as uh, um, hyperbaric responders, meaning kids who maybe didn't, do, didn't get any benefit at 40, now all of a sudden parents are starting to recognize at 50, 60, or 70 treatments like, wow, better eye contact, my child has less stimming behavior, they're less agitated. Some kids who may have OCD behaviors have less anxiety issues. So it is a very beneficial and extremely um, useful way of doing it, but really practically it's the only way to really do that is through an in-home hyperbaric program.